you've got something for me? It is pleasant to see you. I thought you were some pirate coming back to kill me. Lucky me, right? Considering the spaceship wreckage, you mean? Yeah, well, you missed. 
missed the worst of it. Pretty sure we ripped through all the emergency meds that were salvageable. Hey, uh, you know, when I uh, pulled you to the med bench back on Vectera, I honestly thought, shit, I think I just saved someone's life. Oddly proud moment, you know? Uh, so, uh, I guess I'm saying, glad I paid it forward. No good deed goes unpunished, as they say. Man, I was so terrified when I got pulled on board that pirate ship. There it was all. Sorry, brother. I'll get us out of this. Trust me. Oh, I'm getting to that. He tells me we need to start pretending to fight each other. <laughs> Trick the pirates into thinking they need to come in before one of us gets killed. I just remember him shouting, this kid is a killer. How am I supposed to defend myself against these pearly whites? He's gonna bite my face off. I mean, I didn't think it would work, but they came in. All of a sudden, we were wrestling with two of them. Barrett reached for one of their guns. Bingo. Blasted the pilot right in the back. <laughs> Through to the flight console. And dropped orbit like a rock off a high rise. <sighs> I blacked out. And when I came to, there he was. Smiling like it was just another day on the job. You missed the fun part, Heller. <laughs> I mean... I go through all the trouble of saving your butt, and you weren't even awake to notice. Then he did the little finger gun thing. Oh, yeah. Probably should have talked about that first. <laughs> did I mention I'm on a lot of painkillers? So. I was real excited when a ship showed up. <laughs> then, less excited when I realized it was a Crimson Fleet ship. And then, really, really less excited when Barrett said, It's okay, I got this. He mumbled something to him, and then they were all gone. I was drifting in and out, but yeah, I think so. Got a signal from the ship before they grab jumped. Guessing it was Barrett. Haven't really been in a good <coughs> space to have a listen. Here you go. Hey, uh, uh, I should come with you, right? I don't think anyone else is coming. Yeah, just, uh, don't ask me to operate any heavy machinery for a while. Ugh, give me a minute. I think the worst of it is... Yeah, I'll be all right. I'll be all right. Ready to wisecrack with the best of them. Let me know when you want to head out. If you are free soon, could we talk? Still think there might be a spot for me on your ship? I gotta get off this rock. Phew, oh, I'm glad to hear you say that. For a second there, I thought you were gonna leave me behind. What's on the agenda today? You got it. Catch you on the flip side, boss. Thanks for letting me tag along.
believe we got into this mess. You've given the fleet a lot of trouble, Barrett. Hey, since when is surviving being attacked causing trouble? Isn't that just fighting back? Hey, pilot, could you move your arm a little bit to the left? I can't make out the console. Don't move. He's trying to figure out our destination, probably transmitting this conversation right now while we're still in orbit. Well, yeah. Thought I was making that pretty obvious. Okay, okay, put the gun down. I'm done. See? My retinas are pointing away from the console and towards this lovely view of space we have out the window. Time up. Once we get back to the base, the fun starts. Got something with your name on it, boss. Full thrust is firing. side of a conversation like this. Just don't give up. I hope to see you at a much later date.
take your best shot. Certainty is the universe at all. Once you really start getting out there, the laws of physics kind of turn into suggestions. You're pulling my leg again, right? This is the latest thing you've seen. No exaggerations this time. Hmm. What do you think? Unicorn. Not kidding. What? The mythical mare with the magic horn thing? Come on. Was King Arthur riding on it too? Okay, it was more of an extreme. Hemophile in the vague shape of a horn. Holy shit. You actually found it. I do not understand. Is Barrett being held hostage or not? Well, this is turning into a regular constellation party, isn't it? I should have brought drinks. Matsuo the Grim here and I actually have a lot in common. Both escape artists, being captured by Sistep myself plenty of times. See, that's what I'm talking about. Relativity. We're all just creatures of the universe trying to get away from what's after us. Well, you didn't need to worry too much. Matsuo the Grim here is actually a wonderful host. No reason captivity should be unpleasant. See, that's what I mean, Matsuri. Real considerate. I have enjoyed our time together, Barrett. But I can't just let you go with nothing to show for it. Is Constellation willing to pay ransom in exchange for this man's freedom? You want me to end all this with nothing to show for it? A ransom isn't about how much one gets along with the hostage. He does seem to be unusually skilled in that area. Don't assume because I haven't pulled my gun that I won't. Enough! I must insist on payment for Barrett's release. Wait, 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 wait. We're all citizens of the universe here. No one needs to die. Well, I mean, no one else. Listen to your friend. I'm trying to be reasonable. If Barrett prefers a nonviolent solution, we should consider it. Yes, let's. That settles that. Goodbye, Barrett. I have enjoyed our time together. Likewise, Matsur. Good luck with all the, uh, you know, pirating. Hello. If you have the time, I wish to speak to you.
The Crimson Fleet just keeps pirating. Strong's retract. Let's get out of here. Orbit achieved. Understood. Well, I hope you have a better day than I'm having. Navigational feedback checks out. This is using my jellies. Prepare to be scanned for contraband. Scan complete. You are clear to leave. If it were not... Can we speak for a moment? I 
fine. If you are free soon, could we talk? Sorry for the wait, everyone. Got a little held up on Vectera. Barrett, we were worried sick. Well, some of us were. I see what you did there, Walter. And I know you've been secretly crying into your piles of money just waiting for my return. Actually, Walter has been complaining about you more than usual, which is always a sign when he's worried. Don't start, Kutch. Wait, is that? <laughs> and to think the first artifact was taking up dust on the library shelf. Now, look at them all. You feel it a bit, can't you? Ever since I found the second one, had the visions. Being around them is just comforting. So hey, I I'm still not a hundred percent, plus I feel guilty dragging you into all of this. Why don't I stick around, help you get adjusted to the weird corners of the universe? Marvelous. If you have a moment, I have something I'd like to discuss. Constellation sounds... Magical, like a storybook. You've been given a precious opportunity. Seize it and never look back. I must admit, you've surprised me. I thought you were going to take off as soon as you'd gotten something from us. But I was wrong. I want you for a little soiree. It's about an artifact, and our goal is simple. We're going to purchase it. Our seller is a freelance operative in the city of Neon, which means the artifact is almost certainly stolen from someone. I just need a little more presence in the negotiation to show we're serious. And I think you'd be perfect. That settles it, then. We just need to make a few stops when we get to the city, and then the drinks will be on me. I'm sure we have room for you on the ship, Walter. Might be cramped compared to what you're used to, but it'll get you there. It'll be easy, I promise. I'll ride passenger on your ship until we get to Neon. Just let me know when you're ready to set off. To the Volai star system, then. I admit I'm a little excited. Oh, your father visited. He seemed desperate. Or excited to find you. He left his note.
Landing initiated. Watch your flaring. Hey, good to see you. I'm listening. Service, Captain. Let's move in. Fairly certain that I can't sweat any more than this. Oh.
something you need? Star Collector Space. Hold while we scan your ship. Scan complete. Go ahead and land. to stay focused if you can. Stick to your business. Getting drawn into diversions here is more dangerous than you'd expect. Nah. Smell that? Construction. Incense. Industrial chemicals of every kind. But they still can't get rid of the odor of chasm mass. A native species of fish. I often wonder what would have happened if they'd never found out about the psychotropic effects. I mean, on paper, a rich protein source is far more practical value than a recreational drug. But theory loses out once again to practice. Something to do with Chasm Bass's natural oils, apparently. If you're curious, the name is Aurora. We need to stop by the Stroud Eklund offices. There are certain authorization procedures when large funds are being transferred, even for something like this. a substantial amount of Neon's energy. The Astro? Not really my kind of team. I'll follow you, Lee. Devin and Benjamin Bayou's Tower. It's big, all right. Not sure what else. The Astral Lounge spared no expense with their mom. 
Star Yard of the future. This is where quality ships are made. And I don't just say that because it's Stroud's business. It's just true. It's all right. I just need to have a short chat with my counterpart. Is she in today? Yes. Uh, allow me to bust you in, sir. You know me, Mr. Stroud? You are so lucky. Walter. Issa. Shall we continue from last time? The luxury cruise line market is completely outside of our core competencies. Investing into it is a mistake. No, I'm here about... Wait a minute, a mistake. Our ship designers are the best in the settled systems. They design personal craft and military ships, Walter. Large-scale accommodations and hospitality is a completely different beast. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here I am, arguing with my partner. <laughs> and you're just standing right here. Issa Eklund, the hyphenated Eklund in our glorious company's branding. Oh, aren't you lovely? Walter, wherever did you meet your new friend? I'm jealous. A colleague from Constellation. Ah, yes, the daring explorers my partner is so infatuated with. <laughs> you should hear him reciting that speech. <clears throat> There's no need to go into that. <laughs> oh, my heart skips a beat when he does it. Really, it does. Such passion. If he talked to the board that way, I wouldn't need to placate them so much. I know. It's my favorite hobby. Now, why are you here, my dear? The board meeting isn't for a while, and our vacations aren't coming up either. It's the discretionary fund, Issa. I need all of it. Ugh. Oh, this wouldn't have anything to do with that meeting you've set up at the Astro Lounge, would it? I never said that. Did you have an agent hack into my files again? Only after you had one hack into mine. Tell me, can mutual distrust lead to a point where it's actually the same as mutual trust? Don't mind the two of us. Challenging each other intellectually is a cornerstone of our relationship. Now I must point out the obvious. The Astro Lounge. Hmm? It's a remarkably insecure location. That was the point. Neutral territory in the open. With no leverage. Oh, you must let me help. It's been too long. I have this all taken care of. Some investigation into the cellar. What's motivating them? Then, some preliminary casing of the Astral Lounge for security flaws. Give you the advantage if things go wrong. Bribe a few bouncers, alter the codes on the doors. Yes, exactly. I hate being selfish, but I would like some time with my husband. We need to go through the fund authorizations anyway. James Newell is the broker who knows our cellar. He'll be able to help you find out more about them. And it shouldn't be hard to find the Astral Lounge. Here, let me at least give you some operation funds since I won't be joining you. Meet me back here. Yeah, I'm going to be present for the negotiation. I'm not leaving you to the Neon Sharks, I promise.
tried to chase more zone heads out of here today. I don't think they even knew what planet they were on. Welcome to Newell's. If you're looking for any specific goods, Rosa and I guarantee we'll beat Sieghart's lousy selection every time. Rosa Newell is my wife. We own this place together. Sieghart's Outfitters? Oh, come on. You don't have to pretend you haven't been to his poor excuse for a store off of Bayou Plaza. Oh, I don't have a problem with this place. My problem is Sieghart himself. That man has absolutely no respect for the business community on Neon. He skips merchant meetings and refuses to participate in any of our group buys. Worst of all, he pays off Neon security to keep his place safe. A lot of the merchants in Neon belong to a small merchant's alliance. It's nothing formal. It's just a bunch of us getting together to air our grievances and watch each other's backs. By standing up to the lowlifes who come in here expecting me to just hand over all of my money. I refuse to be run out of business or be forced to pay protection. Yeah, sure. If all you care about is yourself. Every payment Seagert makes validates Neon Security's corruption. He's setting a bad precedent that many merchants are forced to follow. Anyway, sorry. I know I can get a little intense about these things. If you'll forgive the outburst and have a look around, I'm sure you'll find something you might want to buy. I'd say the majority of the guards are rotten, and the few who aren't simply take a paycheck and look the other way. They have Neon completely under their control. The Freestar Collective's own security doesn't even maintain a presence here. If it wasn't for the Freestar Rangers outpost, there wouldn't be a shred of justice in this entire city. I arrived in Neon almost, uh, what, 20 years ago? I had gotten a job at Xenofresh through a friend and started working on the loading docks. After a few years, they moved me up to Kazimbass Processing, and that's where I met Rosa for the first time. She was my supervisor, but we hit it off right away. It wasn't long before we decided to quit Xenofresh, get married, and start our own business. We've been in love ever since. Thanks for stopping by our shop. If you have a moment, say hello to my wife. Of course. I have a huge inventory to choose from.
did. Maybe I didn't. Information isn't usually free. New intel, new transaction. Take it or leave it. Okay, okay. You've made your point. Okay. I don't know much. But I did have one of my freelancers tail the seller back to his place. Sleep crate one. Let me write down the unit for you. Now, James, I don't want you to get upset. But Administrator Bay, you keep on. Oh, yeah? His Majesty decided to come down from his throne chat? and walk amongst us. Maybe a few minutes. Probably not hours. Can you believe Xenofresh charges us a license of fish? Did you mean to drop that? Hey, 
stranger. Let's chat sometime, okay? Getting zoned, I got you. Now, you're new here, aren't you? Name's Boone Morgan, your new best friend on Neon. If you're here for a drink or listen to the music, I've got you covered. But if you're here for something a little more exciting, we have plenty of Aurora for sale. Not at the Astral Lounge, my friend. In fact, this is the only place authorized to sell Aurora by order of Administrator Bayou himself. And once you buy it, you can use it anywhere in the Neon that you'd like. Well, except the spaceport, of course. And what are we waiting for? Let's set you up. Here, and take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie. The Aurora is a bit expensive, but <laughs> let's face it. Can you really put a price on pleasure? Oh, Ben and I are good friends. <laughs> he personally gave me the job here at the Astral Lounge. Oh, he's a good man. Cares a lot about the citizens of Neon, making sure they're all employed and well taken care of. A real humanitarian. Pretty amazing, isn't it? That's Borealis, only 19 years old, and yet she produces some of the most heart pounding, trippiest electronic music you've ever heard. I don't know where she gets her inspiration, but I'm betting all that free Aurora she gets has something to do with it. That depends on if you're hungry or thirsty. All right, well, I've got a couple of specialties of the house you might be interested in. First, there's our best seller, Sangria Astral, which is a curiously refreshing, fruit-infused red wine served in a commemorative bottle. But if your palate is a bit more refined, we have our Bayou Private Reserve, painstakingly distilled cognac stored in the purest Arcturan crystal. That enough? Or are you hungry as well? Of course, of course. Start with a drink, perhaps? The Astro Lounge is one of the safest places in all of Neon. Security is hand-picked from the finest officers in the city. Private meetings are usually held in the floor above, just to use the elevator. I'm afraid that would be a serious fire hazard. And I think it's only fair to warn you that the network security on our doors is state-of-the-art. Then I would say you'd be interested in the Astro Lounge VIP package. For a reasonable fee, our security can be your security. We do strive for setting the most reasonable rate. I'm sorry, but promises make for poor currency. 
bullets flying would certainly be bad for the club's reputation. Well, I think we can certainly offer a discounted rate for you, if you are still interested. Excellent. Let me just apply that discount we discussed, and done. We do hope your meeting goes to your satisfaction. Hope to see you again. Yeah. Word is the Borealis, you know, the DJ? Well, she's moping around because she lost something important. something
fortune to let us fish for cash. Yard. Got a moment? Let's catch up. Any luck out there? To the Astral Lounge and our cellar. Goodbye, my dear. See you at the next board meeting? Oh, I'll be keeping an eye on this little operation, just in case. Good luck, all of you. I got them. What do you call them? Cons? Yeah, I got cons. I don't know what the cellar looks like, but they'll have a security briefcase with them, larger than normal, big enough to hold the artifact. We should split up. The code phrase to identify yourself as the buyer is Ramsey and Trappers. I was really hoping for a message written in invisible ink, but this will have to suffice. Remember, Ramsey and Travers. We'll meet back near the elevator. Dusty. Dusty. Let's talk. The music is so good!
there. This connect? Yeah? I just wanted to say, I had plans for Matsura, of course, but I appreciate the backup. See you later. You good? Hi, how you fun? Say, kid, how'd you like to hitch your wagon to a celebrity star? That's right. The Mickey Caviar is in the market for a job, and you look like someone who could use a great ship's cook. What do you say? Hmm. I deserve better anyway. What is it? Can't you see I'm busy drinking? Oh, really? I heard you all have a meeting in a few minutes, don't you? In one of those fancy VIP lounges? Speaking of which, I gotta get going myself. Excuse me. I just saw our cinema walk by. Good job. Now, before we head in there, let me go over the ground rules. He'll ask for twice what we agreed on. That's normal. He'll probably try to walk out. That's normal, too. Don't worry about the amount we actually settle on. The Stroud Eklund Discretionary Fund is just a chip to you and me. Our goal is to get him to accept that chip in exchange for the artifact. Anything goes as long as it's in our hands, and we're not dead. How does that sound? That's why you're here. Hopefully our combined confidence will be enough, but grabbing the artifact and running is an option. Uh, just do me a favor and treat it as a last resort. I have a reputation. I just wanted to say thanks for the daring rescue back there. I had plans for Matsura, of course, but I appreciate the backup. It's good to be part of a team, isn't it? To be part of something so much bigger than any one of us. So many things can go wrong out there. Working with people you can trust is important. And that's why I've been in Constellation so long. It's good to have people who will help out when you're in a jam. Uh, just wait till we get matching shirts and start having official cookie days. Sounds amazing, right? Reminds me of a time when I got stranded on a ship carrying tons of frozen foods when its engine and gravity system died in the middle of nowhere. The captain allowed everybody to eat only the cookies since the meats were so expensive. But with no gravity, the cookies baked into weird little spheres. So naturally, we floated around eating cookie gobs for days. I'd say we gained quite a lot of weight but as we were in space uh, we 
factually did not. They are one of humanity's greatest achievements. Modern medicine, space travel, and cookies. Constellation is quite pro-cookie. Because, you see, we value human accomplishments. Speaking of which, I'm glad you joined Constellation. Just figured I'd mention it, since we haven't had much time to chat before. You know, being a member of Constellation has given me a lot of opportunities, and a fair bit of stress, I'll admit. It's hard to imagine just who I'd be had I never joined up. I would have never done so many things, met so many people. It's mind-boggling how different I would be. And I never would have met Irvin. Or lost him. I suppose. That's right. We can't know the consequences of the choices we never made. And anything beyond that is imagination alone. But for the choices we made, it feels just a bit closer, doesn't it? Irvin's been gone for over 20 years. Strange how memories can pop up when you least expect it. Oh, I've been giving myself nothing but space and time <laughs> for years. But maybe it's time for me to really think about it. Well, maybe I'll take you up on that offer later on, Captain. I need some time to think about things. On that note, I think I'd do well to distract myself with a little adventure for a bit. Need something? Let's see if I have space for that. Okay, right. Catherine Luzian keeps demanding we look into her husband's murder. Murder, yeah, right. Hysterical little broad. So you, Stroud, you look different in person. Our public relations always insists on doing some touch-ups for the official photos. Embarrassing, really. Your security here going to stand or sit for this little meeting, making me nervous. So polite. Almost makes me forget what planet I'm on. to assume that briefcase has our item of interest? Yeah, here it is. Well, look at that. One of a kind, and I know you want it. I have the amount we agreed on. Uh-uh. Things have changed. I want double. Now how am I supposed to do that? I don't know, but your security here seems to have some fancy gear. Why don't they chip in? What the? Security! As you can see, we're in control. Take advantage of our generosity. Take the money. All right. Okay. It's all yours. Hope I never see any of you people ever again. We have it. This couldn't have gone better. 
Well done. Some high pressure tactics, but we got what we were after. Time to go home, shall we? Stop right there. You're in possession of Slayton Aerospace property. Ah. Slayton must have been the original owner. We don't need to do this. All's fair on Neon. Am I right? Hand over Mr. Slayton's property. Now. It's my employer's property. That's all I need to know. You gonna make me shoot you? Really? Huh. That might change things. I'm listening. Huh. All right. But Nicholas Slayton isn't a man you want after you. Good luck with that. Sending our men to the Astral Lounge. Slayton must be serious about getting the artifact back. We'd better get off the planet quickly. Slayton has put a bounty on your heads. He screws a few palms. Your ship's been impounded at the spaceport. There goes our way out. The CEO of Slayton Aerospace. They're a systems manufacturer. Engines, thrusters. The same way everything works on Neon. Money. It's terrible at keeping secrets. Agreed. Have a talk with the man himself. Slayton Aerospace has offices here in the Trade Tower. If Nicholas is moving this quickly, he must be there or close by. Let's head to their lobby, shall we? See if we can make an appointment. Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. Can I help you? I'm afraid Mr. Slayton is a very busy man. Hmm. Maybe I can see if he has just a moment. No, he isn't. We weren't expecting a VIP to come through today. Let me just run a few checks. I think we can make an exception in your case. Mr. Slayton will see you. Just use the elevator. Wait. This clearly isn't the executive level. He's on to us. Walter! Taking what's mine, and then breaking into my office. A bold move, but one easily countered. Oh, we're trapped. Hello, Walter, dear, are you there? Isa? Took longer than I'd like, but I managed to pay off one of Slayton's security consultants. They've patched me in. All right, we've got her out. Once the door is open, just follow her instructions, okay? 
I'm aware of the irony of me continuing to say it'll be easy. But it'll be easy. Doors will open in three, two, one. Slayton's guards and employees are all over. Be careful. Okay. You'll want to use the vent system to slip around unnoticed. There's a cover just to the right of the elevator you came in on. Security is on full alert. No point slipping through unnoticed now. You have to fight your way to the exit. This is hopeless! I'm out!
you expect us to climb up the trade tower? There's a series of catwalks that lead directly up one floor to the executive level. Well, I guess that's for you. You're coming in just behind the executive elevators. I'll call the one on the far end, and you can walk right over the top. You know, it's moments like this that really makes Neon the best place to do business. You steal what's mine. I trap you in the city. You infiltrate my office. I lock it down. Where else can you match wits for the highest stakes but here? <laughs> you have what's mine. I, indirectly, have what's yours. We are at a stalemate. Although I do count a few more guns on my side. I do admit, having the co-CEO of Stroud Eklund in my office is quite the opportunity. How are your quarterlies looking, Nicholas? Perhaps we can add Slayton Aerospace to our supply chain. Provided this unpleasantness was behind us. Yes, I think that could be a most beneficial exchange. There is just the small matter of paying for the humiliation. Mr. Musgrove, my former employee, and the thief responsible for our serendipitous meeting, was caught prior to your arrival. I think it would cement our new partnership if you were to decide on his sentence yourselves. If that is your decision, you need only tell him yourself, and then... We will handle the rest. Well, so be it. He knew the risk. My security brought Musgrove to my office. I'm sure seeing you again will be a fine conclusion to your previous business. Just let him go. No sense in more violence. 
And we have an opportunity to spare a man's life. I know he probably wouldn't do the same for us, but that shouldn't matter. Oh, no. You. Slayton really does have a sick sense of humor. Please. I was just trying to sell a product, okay? Isn't that why we're all here? Be lenient. We were taking advantage of his initiative, after all. Even if we have found ourselves working with the man he stole from. I... thank you. You're welcome. But if I were you, I wouldn't expect leniency around here after this. A rare moment of compassion for this city. Very well. I'll clear things up with the authorities. You're free to go. Time to go. Let's talk more back at the ship. Get going. Mr. Slayton is done with you. I heard there's shortages over at Reliant Medical. Not great. Doc Manning better get his act together before the place shuts down. Huge shield? It's part of the power system. Hey, you might want to. Deal with the man who wanted us dead. I guess we could call that a win. What do you think? I agree. This life suits both of us, don't you think? Great success. Thank you for allowing me to tag along with Constellation's newest star. <laughs> yes, I used a pun. Forgive me.
This right here is my catnip. Orbit reach. You hold something you have no right to. My people have killed for this. But I will offer you one chance to hand over the artifact and turn away from this path. Oh, that's not any type of ship I recognize. The fact that you do not know says much. We are the Starborn, and you are unworthy to possess the artifacts. Tell us, please. What are the artifacts? What are they for? Did you make them? What gives you more right to them than humanity? Answering your questions is exactly what we cannot allow. Abandon your thirst for knowledge or drown in it. Understand, the more damage you will do. How could just knowing what you are be dangerous? Our distance from you is the whole point. We interfere now because we must. I'm not liking what I'm seeing on the scans. The energy output from that ship is far above the normal range. If we spin up the grav drive now, we have a chance. I have something for you. Take this. Enjoy. I know, but nevertheless, enjoy. Anyway, I figured you might have a use for it. My pleasure. If I see anything on our next expedition to a planet, then I'll hang on to it for you. place is a delightful relic tangled up with hope, grit, and science. How is Neon? Are you... are you okay? Okay. I'll start transferring the data over now. Let me just bring it up on here at the table. Is that, is that a prototype? No, that material isn't anything we, what the? 
Everyone, come take a look at this. That's no faction vessel or Crimson Fleet. Secret military tech, maybe? Hmm, no United Colonies Admiral approved that starship design. They call themselves the Star Men. Demanding we hand over the artifact. Like we were children, playing with your parents' things. What do people know? Any offshoot groups go by that name? I very much doubt that. We ignoring the obvious here? A heretofore unknown group who just happens to know about the artifacts. I'm just gonna say it. Intelligent alien life or extra-dimensional beings. The original creators from the furthest fringes of space. Or beyond even that. Is the metaphor of avenging angels coming down to keep humanity from forbidden knowledge not apt here? So, we have a lot of theories, but nothing concrete. Except that they're after the artifacts, and they're willing to take them by force. No settled systems lab made these things, and I doubt one of them made that ship either. So, we got some weird extra-dimensional beings that coincidentally decide to build their spacefaring vessels exactly like we do. I'm not so sure about that. Some glints of shine in the dark. Ready to hand them out as soon as you please. You got time for a quick chat? I'd appreciate it when you're able. Talk. I'd like to talk back to end up involved in something like this. There's something I'd like to discuss. Ever since I got here, this has felt like home. These people are family. I hope it feels that way for you too. <sighs> Still need to lift another set today. Been dragging. Shoulder stiff. You had a hell of a shake getting bullied in the void. Starborn sure know how to make an entrance. Ready to head back out there? The Eye can help you find the artifacts. But I'm afraid she's blind to our new competitor. No telling the exact number, but they're getting harder to find. Got some equipment, repairs, and upgrades on the making do list. The eye's straining to her limits these days. Double check the safety and locks wherever you go, okay? Exploration's dangerous, even without some nefarious group trying to kill you. <laughs> 